Hello everyone, I'm Krasi and this is my week for the seven days of the week astrologically. Again, we'll be looking at each of the one, one of the seven days and what are the most important celestial configurations of the week. Now, just to remind you, I spoke, I think it was on Monday, if you like find this video, I think it is important about this very important stellium conjunction of many planets in Capricorn. We have all these invisible planets, Saturn, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, and the Sun, and even Pluto, and they are all in sidereal Capricorn. They are invisible, and only Mars is visible, who is square in the Mars and Uranus are forming a square towards all these planets. So this is still the very and most important celestial event which influenced the week before and which is still influencing this week and the whole month of February is in particular until 14th of February because on the 14th of February we will be having the new lunar crescent which will be forming the next new lunar month. So these energies will be very, very strong until the 14th of this month. Why am I saying this? Because no, because the energies will be the same. What you felt last week, you will feel this week even more powerfully maybe, and especially people who have Capricorn ascendant, or this would be, this is Sidereal Capricorn, or if you're following the tropical astrology, this would be, um, I think, uh, Aquarius. You feel this energy is very, very strongly, maybe too much, maybe too hard, maybe they will give you this very strong and even negative emotions. Why am I saying this? Because rather take a look, if you didn't look at this, my video from, I think it was from Monday about the important stellium, which is so important for the whole year. So yes, we have the same situation now. And if you look at the sky now, you will see only Mars and the moon. And that's it. And even in three days, you will see only Mars without the moon because the moon will be for three, four days invisible, very long. So, well, yes, nothing so much has changed this week. Tension, uh, people will be experiencing worries and fears. Actually, we can control that. And it is in our hands not to give up to these um, heavy energies. So yes, um, we will have still, as I said, these influences. Well, uh, what is happening actually um, on the first, uh, on Monday, which will be uh, 8th of February, 24th lunar day of the waning moon. Now the moon is waning. Such moon is not very benevolent for new beginnings, not at all. Even the whole month of February, if you want to do now important business or now important um, new beginnings, I would tell you rather wait for postpone for like maybe uh, one month until mid-March. This is very important because the sky is not appropriate for any of this. And now I will be telling you day by day what is the situation. So, Monday, 8th of February, 24th lunar day of the waning moon. The moon is in good, a very harmonious uh, degrees in, uh, in Sagittarius, very philosophical, a very spiritual, and is creating harmonious trying, harmonious aspect to Mars. This is good. This will give us maybe these philosophical interests awakening uh, state of mind, hopefully for those who are still in this uh, phase of, uh, um, well, that need to be awakened. And uh, yes, then we also have uh, the, the square, which I spoke about, the square between Mars. And now the square is very heavy because it takes Jupiter and also uh, the sun. Uh, what is this? It is exactly, um, suppression of you know of, of growth suppression of um uh, and questioning and testing our philosophical belief systems it is really the time of awakening according to the sky and also uh, according to the reality already which we are experiencing so uh, the day is this is maybe the last day when you can still do some medical interventions for this month uh, some medical interventions maybe this is the day this would be monday and then uh, Tuesday as well, and, and that's it for this um, particular month. But because the moon is ruling the day, and take a look when the sun is rising, welcome the sun, then imagine with knowledge, knowing the days were by the moon, 
uh, welcome the sun and imagine the colors of the moon, which will be white or blue. Even some uh, spiritual teachers are giving um, the light green because the moon is related to uh, fertility and growth. So imagine that you have in this shower of such colors, then where on this day, the colors of the moon should be white, blue, or pearls, very, very appropriate. This is the stone of the moon, or larimar, or aquamarine, they belong to the moon. And yes, remain very spiritual and very positive because this uh, square is a bit tense, but still it is in our hands, how really to work it out and how to experience the energies. And then we have 9th of February, 25th lunar day, yeah, this is maybe the last day of this month when we can do medical interventions, completion of tasks. Um, be careful because the day is ruled by Mars. Mars is, you know, very disharmonious and very strong, extremely powerful now in Aries. Yes, he's training the moon harmoniously still. And the moon is in this nebula, which is a cluster of stars, cluster of stars, which actually are not so bad uh, in, uh, in Sagittarius. and. Yes, again, day of, of philosophy, uh, um, knowledge, um, well, also empathy, helping others, uh, studying, learning. Sagittarius is the most philosophical sign, which is also about sharing your knowledge with others, helping others, teaching others very, very much about these things. Now, let's not forget that the ruler of Sagittarius is suppressed, squared by Mars. So yeah, we're being tested. Uh, it is important now to take the right decision, to choose our philosophy, to, well, to work on our consciousness, on our awakening also today. And yes, day is ruled by Mars, which would say, if you welcome the sun, again, it's very easy, take a look when the sun is rising, and then you know Mars is ruling the day. Imagine the red color around yourself. Imagine Mars, if you're lacking energy, if you feel down, actually Mars can do very good road and wear the gemstones of Mars, which would be a ruby, red coral, red garnet, red carnelian can also be with the consciousness, with this mind um, that Mars is all in the day and he will give you energy and he will give you, uh, well, good a good drive to continue the day. This day is also very appropriate to complete things, completion of tasks. And yes, sharing your knowledge with others. You may travel, but very carefully, actually very carefully because Mars is square in Mercury. So um, with the prayer, guard yourself with the prayer and yeah, just be very careful. Medical interventions only if not invasive, only if you really must do. And then you will have 10th of February, 26th lunar day, Wednesday. The moon is void, of course. Such moon, you know, I usually mention this, like it's not, it's not bringing anything. The, the development is stopped. The action is stopped. Void, of course, moon. Basically, you can't do anything if you want to reach results. Void, of course, moon would say that we need to, well, it is more of, um, doing your routine without expecting any results, uh, spending time in the temple if you want, studying, uh, teaching others. And this is about Wednesday ruled by Mercury, day of knowledge. Be careful because on this day, Mars is forming almost exact square to, uh, to Mercury who is ruling the day, which would say that if you really want to, uh, per, to do, um, to appear in front of people, to share our knowledge, we can easily be also, uh, accused or mis misunderstood, it is uh, this also could lead to a lot of attempts for manipulation, which will come. Uh, and this is also what this aspect a square means attempts to manipulate us. So, don't really uh, do your own research, follow, look at alter alternative sources of information. Uh, because the mainstream media can be very, very manipulative, and this is seen on the sky as well. So yeah, moon void, of course, we can't do much. We can work on ourselves. We can do spiritual practices. We can study carefully when driving, really carefully. Medical interventions, no, you may not get result uh, with this. And yeah, even to complete things, it was more like, uh, yeah. And then we have um, Thursday, 11th of February, 
27th lunar day, invisible moon. And this is valid and the moon is conjoined uh, Saturn. And you have here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four day lunar invisibility. Up until Sunday, we have four day lunar invisibility. The moon will pass from Sidiru Capricorn will meet all these planets, Saturday, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, uh, Venus, and then we'll go to Aquarius, still invisible, and will appear for the first time in Pisces. Four days lunar invisibility. What to tell you? These are the last four days of the week. This is like nothing, nothing, Nothing much, not, we can really, we should really be careful. I will tell you, and uh, maybe it is a repetition. The ancients wouldn't do much. When the moon is not on the sky, they would spend time in the temple, they would contemplate, they wouldn't really make important activities, they wouldn't um, really, they would know. And, and uh, many unfortunate events when they are about to happen when they're they are destined to happen take place while well, the moon is invisible so we need to be careful really i'm not saying to make you worried i'm saying to make you uh, avoid this because like how we say when it is raining you take umbrella so this is the idea of my advice these four last four days of the week are really to be when you do your spiritual activities, you get results because this placement is very spiritual of the planets. They are having assembly with the sun. It is very special. Then the moon appears for the first time in Pisces. This will be interesting. This is the Sumerian New Year. And I'll make a separate video only about this. Probably you will find it very interesting because it is also ominous, as ominous as the four days of lunar invisibility, which lead to a bit difficult month of February, lunar month of February, starting from 14th of February. But we need to go through these events. Our souls chose to be born now, born now to get through these particular events. So, well, this is about the week. And then we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days of work spiritual work because the moon will be invisible to travel avoid to well conflicting risky situations avoid what you can do yes let's say this is thursday welcome the sun the day is ruled by jupiter imagine the colors around yourself to be uh, yellow orange wear yellow sapphire then you have friday beautiful venus which now is Reshkegal because she's in the netherworld Imagine Venus as a Reshki Gali. Uh, uh, imagine just Venus and the Venus colors, which would be pink, pink quartz, diamond you may wear. And then you have um, a Saturday, Saturn is ruling the day. Welcome the sun. Imagine the uh, dark blue or amethyst colors around yourselves. And yeah, Saturn is ruling the day. And then on the Saturday, or no, Sunday, obviously, this is the sun. So do a lot of spiritual practices on these four days. Don't allow any bad emotions to overpower your good mood. And just uh, be happy. This is a temporary situation, but it's obviously very important. Take a look at my other video where I'm explaining what this stellium is uh, meaning. Just be very wise this week. Uh, Keep your good mood with how, with knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual practices. And don't worry, because when we worry, we things get worse, because we always allow, uh, when, we, when our vibrations are low, we allow also worse things to happen. When we vibrate high, the good things from our horoscopes reach us. So let me finish this way. Have a good week. This is possible. And see you very soon.